All right. This is a called the torch. Let's see if it works. What you want to do is stick it in the ground. This is a, from an old paintbrush. The paintbrush thing came off. So you fill it with cotton, then pour alcohol in it. This is good to cook food on if you have. Nah, bitch. There we go. Now I got me uh, what you call a lantern. I'm gonna see if I can. I don't know if I can cook on that. That's a small flame. Well, I didn't put much alcohol in there. Now I wonder if it goes all the way down in the handle. No, I think it stops here. Okay, blow that out. We'll get up. Yeah. We'll add some more to it. We'll see if we can't get a big old flame going. Yep. Went down. It went down in the hole too. Now. Maybe I'll make a wick going all the way down. Eh. Yep, it's on. I wonder if I can cook anything with that. You know, I just realized we put the wrong fuel in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. To make a torch where you can see by 70% or 90% rubbing alcohol would work better. Because it puts out a very bright yellow flame. This is almost burning clear. Which is perfect for cooking. Uh, I'm curious. That means I have to hold this thing to cook or boil water. Yes, and then your hand gets a cramp. Yeah, so it was a good idea if you want to start maybe a fire. But I'm thinking that actually if you needed a little torch to see by, some type of, ooh, it's hot. Yeah, <laughs> so that theory went out the wall and it's still lit. That's cool. And it's still lit like a, a lantern. Not recommended to touch. <laughs> so maybe I could start a fire with this, you know, place it halfway into my my fire and add, damn, it's still lit, and add to my Kindle like a flame floor. <laughs> a hot one, that is. You shush. I got an idea. We have a severe grippy problem. I have an idea. Is it still hot on the handle there? And it's still, still burning. Still lit. Set that on fire. Still, I like that idea. I can see some dis distinct possibilities with that. The only thing you have to do is make sure you got some gloves with you. Man, I gotta light the whole woods on fire with this thing. It's a little miniature torch. Not a bad idea. Uh, this was old paintbrush and it just fell apart. Maybe you go to Walmart and you find one. I've been looking for one. It's stainless steel. So hey, I just want to show you this cool little torch thing. Yeah. Let's find out what's next in the Arsenal Q-Tips. Can you like Q-Tips with a fire ski ride? Let's fluff it up. Let's move some trash. All right, basically it's a cotton on a stick. And it's lit. Now I can place this anywhere, just like my torch. It's like a match. That is neato. And probably later on it burned the plastic and you start a fire. All right, we. this is a good for everything. Lighter matches, that's a good spot. All right, Landman says chapstick. Chappy of the sticks. Maybe we need to chaps our sticks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, how the hell would you use this? What I would do is a test and then very quickly. Rub it on something? No, let's just pull it out the end of the tube uh -huh. and light the end of the wax itself, which Wait. in theory is probably just gonna melt and not burn. Yes. Yeah, it has to be on something combustible that acts like a wick. How about we I just believe. take a little paper? No, not paper, because ah, there you go. This would be a little harder to light. I'm just going to rub some chapstick on a piece of paper, like a stick, maybe. If I was in the woods, I would rub it on a stick. If this lights, um, we definitely know we can light it with other materials.
Hmm. All right. Lighter. Yeah. It just melts like wax. It melts just like wax. Yep. And no light. Uh, it will light. Depends on what kind of chapstick you got. Oh, I maybe got the crappy chapstick. Try something. I'm not gonna give up on that one. <laughs> Trying to do this for the camera to see. Yeah, you can see. Oh, ferro rod. Oh, that's the paper burning. But it's a fire extender. Yeah, it's lighting up pretty bad. I mean, pretty good. With um. And the idea is to the wax keeps it burning longer. And it appears. So, what you should, what you think on this one? The halfway or all I the way? I think it works, but in this case, because we did it on camera, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to it. <laughs> all right. Maybe out in the woods, or maybe around a, a environment where they got trash. No, I know what happened. Santa Claus finally had an accident. He <laughs> crashed. He fell out of the air. And now we have Christmas paper laying everywhere. <laughs> I know he's going to light with the cigarette lighter, so... Let's see if I fluff it up. <laughs> Come on, work, you bastard. I'm starving out here. All right, since we're there, might as well grab the wax paper. This is like, like butcher's paper, kind of, looks like. Let's see if that light up. Oh, well, first strike. Oh! <laughs> do it again, do it again, get out. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that thing, uh, brown thing? Where's the, uh, yeah, the thingy? I think that was a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it again. This wax quake paper actually lit. And quick. I'll be dead gum. Look at that. All right. That is reliable. Christmas paper, flaw. Uh, wax paper for whatever this paper is. What do you call that? Gift paper? Yeah. Wrap it's like a, stuff gift yeah, with? yeah, basically. Yeah. It has a smell to it, unless it's the Christmas paper. But I mean, it's, it's thin tissue paper that lights up very quickly. All right, we'll see you out in the woods. You brought you some biscotti. Biscotti, biscotti, <laughs> hey, biscotti. The, we'll see what happens if we uh. And in this case, because we're from the south, this is Bubba Skitty. I don't think this is gonna light it. Let's find out. All right, let's try the lighter. Busketti does burn. Unlike stale potato chips. Now, multiple use. I can cook with it, and I can start my fire with. You mean you can eat it? You can cook with it. Oh yeah, you can cook with it. And start a fire, and eat it. Well, fine. Hey, triple function right there. <laughs> All right, we got the last few tests. We know this is not gonna work. But, hey, what happens if you had a sponge with you? You clean in your pots. Cool. Well, but I guess once you use it to clean your pots, I don't think it's going to be use, useful for anything. Ah, let's go tear a little piece, fluff it up. Ah. All right, let's try the lighter. No conveyo, but I bet you. Now we're gonna try some injecting cleaner. Okay, give me a moment. Let me get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna use the, the, this as a cotton ball. So I guess using this as a sponge for your liquid, probably ideal. I can probably stuff it in my little stove I have around here. The little thing I should. But it's gonna burn away. I think it's just gonna melt and burn away. Well, that's good. That's what you want to start yeah, a fire. You want it to go away. But you definitely don't want to use this as a sponge. Sponge 
anticipating it's going to hold your fuel inside the stove and not burn away. All right. Last fuel tests we got. You've done this before, haven't you? Oh, it is. <laughs> All right, we will see you out there in your blue jeans, and you need a fire. Even though most people just say, I'll cut some wood down. You don't mind, sir? Ouch, I cut my, now, my blue jeans. People use this for char cloth. So, what happens if I need to light a piece of my jeans? Oh, the paper well, started. Hey, cut the paper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the paper that wouldn't light a while ago. No, it was uh, filled with... Uh, there it goes. And it lit. Now, if it lights with this, you know it's going to light with a lighter. Absolutely. Well, I knew that was going to work anyway. Because... I don't know if I can get my leg in there without getting burnt. Let's see. This is a wet blue jean. This will not work. But if it were dry, then you would take your knife and gently rub it, start to bear down, and you sit there and you scrape some nap off of your blue jeans. And that's all I'm gonna do. But what you end up with- A little lint. Is a little cotton ball type of lint on the end of it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah. anyway, we'll rotate it. <laughs> and we know that that's extremely flammable. All right, our last few tests. We already tried the fuel injector. It works, but I don't know it'd be good for cooking. It might be a chemical Thing, but lighting fires, putting in your balls of cotton or something be a good idea and put your balls of cotton in some type of container. All right. So in other words, it'd be good at lubricating your cotton balls. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, All baby right. scent fresh. Last two tests that we got. Then we're gonna go through. This is steel wool at its finest. Uh oh, yeah. you've heard that one too. Wow, that was a given. So if you can light it with this fire seed rod, you can light it with a lighter. If you can light it with a lighter, something that you might not know that you can use a battery to do the same trick. All right. There's your cotton ball right there now. Here, you want me to make a little fireball? Let's make this. Now, this is something that I've been dwelling on in my head for quite some time. If you happen to have your cotton ball, and you happen to have your steel wool, and all you have is that so-called battery, can you make a flame out of this combination? Zapper. And I guess the battery's halfway dead. Wow, what kind of battery is that? <laughs> All right, let's try the fire sea ride. It's automatically going to hit the uh, cotton ball. I know, let's try to hit. Well, this is the test with the battery. It's supposed two. to be a test with the battery. And it's not doing squat. There it goes. It must be at the two. ends, that's what it is. Breathe in, breathe in. There you go. Oh, I got it, got it, got it, got it. So, Ooh, even with a weak battery. So, a combination of battery. Uh, cotton, cotton ball and steel wool, you will have a fire. <sighs> now, That's good to know. That is good to know. Two picks. No, oh, Mama, don't destroy me. All right, our last two test two picks. I'm gonna rough it up a little bit. And these are not two picks. These are like shish kebab things. That didn't work. This is like 
starting a normal fire with sticks, so I guess we could just say whatever with this one. Now, the last ingredients that Mr. Lamman didn't think about. It's my secret ingredient. I want to show you how I make one of these. But first, I get. Here's a stick. Kind of a stick. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a wimpy stick. How about a toothpick? Oh, a toothpick. Works even better. So, we're going to get some of this out. Let's see if this will work. I don't know if this is going to be. This is supposed to be gunpowder. All right, didn't work with the fire sheet, right? Let's see if it worked. I know this fire uh, uh, gunpowder only lasts a few seconds, then it's out. So you better have your. Uh, There you go. Here you go, man. Hey, hey, hey! What is that? It's a like a firework. Dude, that will definitely start a fire. <laughs> burn, baby of the burn. <laughs> 